Alexa, open curtains. Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Today we're going to talk about the Zemi Smart Automated Curtain Rod. That's right, the Zemi Smart Automated Curtain Rod. Now, in the video, I broke down some of the key elements in installing the curtain rod that I thought would be very helpful for someone trying to put it in. So, don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we check out the Zemi Smart automated curtain rod okay this is a smart curtain rod and this is a very intimidating package that's right very intimidating because look at all the pieces look at all the parts we have our track and this might not be enough room to set this track up because this track is big Oh, this is definitely not going to be enough room to set this track up. So let's look at it. So this is about four meters long. This has to be one of the most complex um, smart home features that I've ever put together. So what do we have in the box? We have a switch, we have the track, we have all the components that need to be installed into the track. So how are we going to do this? Very carefully, that's my goal. Here's a remote control. The motor clicks into here, which is this bad boy right there the belt drive all right so there's a lot to this and we're going to need more real estate to put this together so we're going to have to go to the floor okay as you can see it's a big long track there's different sections so depending on what you need you can take this apart to add and subtract length for my purpose I just needed the three main tracks right here. One, two, and three. And you can see that they're connected right there with that bracket. Now you don't want a space in between there. You just want that bracket there to connect it real neat and tidy. All right, so that's the first thing. Now we're gonna do the track. And you can see with the track, you have this piece right here okay and then you have this piece right there and you're going to put it onto the track now i'm doing a single-sided open track so single-sided i'm going to put this on and then if you take a real close look right here you're going to slide this bad boy to lock into place on this bad boy so that's as easy peasy as just going like that and doing it one handed kind of sucks but there we go so now that's on there and that's what pulls this with the motor so now the next part we're going to look at is we got to come over here and we need this bad boy this is what attaches to your curtain going to go inside the track here okay so now I got one side of the track ran through the canal and the canal has a separator on the inside I don't think you can see it right there but there's a little separator so you need to make sure the track is on one side of that separator so this middle track is free and then I ran it into I don't know what you call that the spool that's either one of the sides where the motor runs or where the motor doesn't run. It doesn't really matter because you're going to put it up there and you're going to decide which side you want your motor to be on. But now you got to get that. You put it through here so it runs 
through that right there. This is connected on this side, and if you pull it out, you can see that it's connected right there. And that will make continue the loop. All right, my suggestion is when you lay out the track to go in, that you kind of squiggle it out like this so it doesn't get twisted when feeding it down the track line. So if you lay it out like that, it doesn't get twisted when you're feeding out the track line. And that's kind of very helpful because if it gets twisted, then you're going to pull it out because it's not enough room to turn it around if you're trying to put it down that track line right there on the one side, on the right side there. So if you lay it out like that, then it's going to flow into the track line relatively easy, and you just push it down. So there you go. Okay, so now we got everything installed. So the first thing you want to make sure, and it's going to be hard to explain of how you got how you get it connected. So I will do a simulation with this bracket. Okay, so now you can look at all these pieces and these parts, okay? Now this right here and this right here are your runners. They hold this bracket right here. And this is the one that is pulled by the motor. So when you go to install it, you're going to take these two apart because they come put together in the box. And you're going to slide it into here. And then you're going to pull it like that. Then you're going to take this one, and you're going to attach it in here, and you're going to get this lined up like that. Alright. So now those are together, you're going to slide this piece in, like this. And that makes them connected, and then you're going to add the screws back through on the back, like that. This has got to slide freely. Make sure it's not, there's no real tension on it. There's going to be a little pull on it, a little drag, but it shouldn't be like, it shouldn't be hard to pull. Then we're going to talk about these little guys. These guys slide in right here. Okay. There is eight of these per every meter. Alright, this is what your curtain attaches to. They look like this guy right here. So this guy right here has little wheels on it, which fits inside the track. Your curtain attaches to it, and then this is your main driver. It pulls back and forth, and then it pulls your curtain straight when you pull it to the full length. So here you go, that guy right there. All right, see that guy right there? You remove this screw. Don't untighten it all the way, just enough to get it loose. Move, move it out this way, set it aside, and drop this guy in like that. And there you go. Now, this is the motor side. This is where the motor will actually connect. Once I get the motor connected in there, it will click in here. And you want these to be on the side that pulls towards the motor. Okay, so when the motor goes this way, you want it to be on that So, side. it's very hard to video because this is such a large item. It's three meters long for me. So now we got to mount it to the wall. Okay. So now we got the rack, the rod, the track, whatever you want to call it, up on the wall. Alright. So one of the things to add extra support, since this is a seam here, they would like you to have a bracket right there. Now I'm a little bit further away than I would like to be from this area here, but this is where the wood is, part of my frame. I could probably go over a little bit, but I already had a rod there. So then you have your track going all the way across. Right there is the back one, that's the motor driving side. Over there is the non-motor side, right there. All right, here's the slide right here. Now these have to be on the side of the motor. This is the slide so it will turn. 
back and forth here. All right, so that's the motor. And that's the wire going into my wall. And that's the switch box. And that is the receptacle that I'm tapping into. I had to drill a hole above it so I could get the wire fed down into the receptacle to bring power to the motor. So. Okay, so now here's the wiring of the switch. Hopefully that's in better focus than my eyes are. This is the white neutral wire from the wall. This is the blue neutral wire to the motor. This is the ground wire from the wall. This is the ground wire from the motor. This is the hot wire, the live wire, the load wire from the wall. This brown wire is the load wire to the motor. This is your L1 wire and this is your L2 wire. These are the wires that are controlling the forward and backward motion of the curtain motor. So to make it go one direction it applies power to the L1. To make it go the other direction it applies power to the L2. So after the installation of the curtain rod right there you can see where it's mounted. I really still have to adjust how far it is away from the wall but the mount is good all going all the way across. And you can see the track ends over there with the curtain. All right, so we come over here. Here's your mount, your motor. The antenna hangs down, and there's the wire going into the wall. We lead down to the switch, and we have this switch here, which we put in to that power receptacle there. I did have to drill an extra little hole here because it was hard to get the uh, it was hard to get the wire in. All right. I don't understand your meaning. So working it by the switch, if I want to open it, I click that, and you can see the track pulls the motor back all the way. Perfect, right? So now if we wanted to go back, we click here. And I haven't tried my belt. There we go. Goes all the way back. Doesn't get much better than that. Super quiet, easy peasy, fresh and squeezy. So now we have to get this thing flashing. So we gotta hold it. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Alright, so now we're gonna we got flashing. Flashing rapidly. Confirm. And now we are searching. You see that? Because it's too white. But we're searching. Turned off. And now we found it. You can see that we found it right there. Alright, so now we have the curtain switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename it. Alright, so we just renamed it to Family Room Curtains. And we're going to be done. And now we have a new device called Family Room Curtains. As you can see, we have an open And I close. So right now we're closing the curtains. Awesome. Or we can open the curtains with the device. And it's very quiet. You can pause the curtains. And you notice the switch is reacting each time. We can also set a timer. 
It's technically a schedule. So here we can set a schedule. So if you want the curtains to be open every morning at 6 o'clock in the morning, it can open the curtains at 6 o'clock in the morning. And that's cool. So now we just have to put the curtains on there. And then we'll test it with the Amazon Echo product. All right, so now you got to see the Zemi Smart curtain rod installed, installed into the app. What do and I think overall? Well, when you first open the box, it's quite intimidating. That's right, you see all these pieces, all these parts, and you go, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? But if you sit down and you look at the instructions for a second, it all goes together relatively simple. Then you have a choice. What do you want to do? Do you want to open the curtains side to side, or do you want to park them from the middle? And once you do that, you can set up the motor and everything, the track, just the way you need it to be. I'm not an electrician, but I'm not afraid of electricity. So putting it into the wall wasn't too hard to do. You just got to take the right precautions when you are dealing with electricity. Like first off, turning off the power before you go and install. Using an insulated screwdriver, all those things are very important uh, when you're installing electricity. One of the hardest yep. things was feeding the wire from where the switch was going to be located and putting it down to where I was tapping into the receptacle. So I had to drill an extra hole so I could actually hand feed the wire through the switch box, the uh, receptacle box. Uh, the switch itself, the wiring, if done right, was pretty easy. That's one of the main reasons why I put the wiring in the video. Um, overall, looking at the Zemi Smart Curtain Rod, it allows you a lot of options. Some of those options are as follows. You have a remote control. That's right. This is our RF remote control. And you can use it to open the curtains. Like that. Pause the curtains. And close the curtains easy peasy fresh and squeezy you can use a switch that's on the wall now with that switch that switch allows you to connect it to the smart life app and with the smart life app you can do the same thing you can open and close the curtains with the app you can also set a schedule and that's really cool on top of that you can install this into your RM Pro and having this in your RM Pro and you can then still use the RM, the Broadlink device, to open and close your curtains. That's cool too. And then you can do the piece of resistance. You can use your Amazon Echo product. Alexa, open curtains. Okay. So if you're sitting there and you're watching TV and you want things to happen, you can set up a routine in the Amazon Echo product. And with that routine, you can do something such as this. Alexa, movie time. Okay. And not only does it do what I want it to do, but it turns everything on to make the most enjoyable movie experience I can think of. And that is awesomely cool. So if you're thinking about putting a automated curtain rod in, I would definitely suggest that you look at the Zemi Smart Wi-Fi RF controlled curtain rod. So if you're interested in the Zemi Smart curtain rod, I put a link below where you can find it with all the details and specs of the curtain rod. This is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for future notifications. And I will see you soon. Alexa, Can we turn the camera off at this one?